African-American sororities and fraternities have been a force when it comes to civil rights and voter activism. The National Panhellenic Council, also known as the Divine Nine, is an umbrella organization for the nine black Greek letter sororities and fraternities. They have promoted social justice and have been committed to community service for decades. We've been fighting for the right to vote since the inception of our organization, and still today, our fight continues. Efforts to make it harder for marginalized people of color to participate in the political process are proliferating across the country. Thus, our sorority will continue to do what we do best and have done repeatedly, protect our right to vote. And joining me now is Elsie Cook Holmes. She is the national president of the Delta Sigma Theta sorority. Welcome to our program, Elsie. Thank you so much, Karen. It is great to be here. I've long admired your program and uh, I am <laughs> And excited. I've long admired you. So first, <laughs> let's talk about how the Deltas developed a commitment to voter education and getting out the vote. That commitment started a long time ago. Do, um, we were founded on the campus of Howard University in 1913 by 22 collegiate women, and they were focused on social action from the very beginning. The first public act by our sorority was the Women's Suffrage March of 1913. And even though that march was really fighting for the rights of women's suffrage, and Black women were not even included uh, when that um, the suffrage law was initially found, uh, initially passed, we still fought for those rights from the very beginning, and we still officially marched in the Women's Suffrage March. And ever since that time, we have been very much focused on social action. We had a vigilance committee that started in the 20s, uh, really focused on anti-lynching, on anti-poll taxing, tax laws and uh, continue to fight for civil rights. We uh, started our social action commission, uh, which is where most of our civic engagement falls under. That was started almost 60 years ago in 1963. And Delta really is synonymous with civic engagement and social action. And the sorority has always done um, a good job empowering black women and giving black women a stronger voice. Absolutely. Um, one of our strategic planks is the empowerment of women and girls. But as I mentioned, we have really long been very politically active, very focused on making sure our voices are heard and the voices of our community uh, are heard. Each year, we sponsor our Delta Days at the nation's capital, where our members come to Washington, D.C. And then we also sponsor uh, Delta Days at the state capital and uh, in local municipalities across the country to make sure that our members understand the issues and can go out and educate the communities at large on these issues that uh, disproportionately affect our communities. We focus not only in this country, but across the world um, through our international missions, through our international empowerment of women and girls. We are an NGO. Um, uh, the second African-American organization to become an NGO with the United Nations. So we work very closely uh, with them um, with the empowerment of women and girls across the world. Elsie, one thing I just, Go ahead, go ahead. You no, know, I just want to mention one other thing uh -huh. uh, that um, is history making for our sorority and that uh, in 2020, we started uh, D4 Women in Action. It's a C4 organization that was birthed out of Delta Sigma Theta. It's a separate organization. But as I mentioned, as we, because it's a 501C4 organization, we are able to prepare women to run for office. We are able to endorse candidates and we are able to, to provide even more focus on fighting for issues that affect our communities. Um, voter turnout is uh, traditionally lower for midterm elections than for presidential election years. What are the Deltas doing in this area to persuade more people to get out to the polls? We are really focused on a number of things. One key thing is voter protection. 
So we uh, entered into two lawsuits with um, in the state of Texas, as well as the state of Georgia, with the NAACP Legal Defense Fund in order to look at protecting and fighting for uh, the rights uh, votes, the voters that are being um, stripped away every day. We are working hard in our local chapters, uh, including those four ch uh, alumni chapters within Boston and uh, the surrounding area in the state of Massachusetts, as well well as three collegiate chapters. So working hard every day in terms of, um, we focus very heavily on voter registration, then voter education, not only on the issues, but on voting rights. So our communities understand their rights. Voter mobilization, we're working very hard on that at this point in time. In the, we know we're in that early voting uh, for a number of municipalities and leading up to November 8th, really looking at the voter mobilization through our organization through our partnerships with the Divide Nine, through our partnerships with things like Oprah and Own Your Vote, um, to make sure that our voices are heard because there is power in our collective voices. And again, that voter, all important voter protection that we continue to focus on. Uh, we um, are partnered with 866 Our Vote uh, and Protect Your Vote. So we will be continuing to stay vigilant throughout Election Day. So the message is get out the vote, go to the polls. Elsie Cook, National President of Delta Sigma Theta, thanks for joining us today. And thanks to all of you for watching. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at CityLine5.